listening to AM 1220 KDOW, the Bay Area's business leader. And welcome to Punch, media and marketing made easy. Helping you explore new marketing and social media trends that will give you that extra punch in your marketing strategy. Now, here's your host for Punch, media and marketing made easy, Erica Taylor Montgomery. Good morning and welcome to Punch, Media and Marketing Made Easy. I'm your host, Erica Taylor Montgomery, and Punch, Media and Marketing Made Easy is a show that covers everything you need to know to punch through your competition and deliver a total knockout when it comes to public relations, marketing, social media, branding, advertising, and so much more. I'm the founder and CEO of Three Girls Media and Marketing, Inc., which is a public relations and social media marketing agency that specializes in working with small companies with very cost-effective solutions. You can find us online at threegirlsmedia.com. That's threegirlsmedia.com. And we are live this morning. We'll be able to take your calls throughout the hour. Thank you so much for joining me. We've got another great show lined up for you today. In round one, we're going to be talking to a 25-year communications veteran about public relations trends. We're going to discuss how the PR industry has changed over the years, what the latest must-dos in PR are, and what you need to know about what's coming next in the world of public relations. And then in round two of Punch today, we're going to be talking with a social media marketing expert about how to use social media effectively. We're going to talk about how you can target specific clients and customers to get the very best results. And if you're just getting started in the world of social media, we're going to provide some advice on where to begin. And we're also going to cover some must-know social media time savers. I also wanted to let you know there's only a couple days left to sign up for the workshop that I'm giving next Wednesday, October 17th from 10 a.m. to noon in Campbell in the South Bay. And I'm going to be talking about 11 great free and low-cost public relations resources. These are things that you can put into practice immediately to gain more brand awareness and name recognition for your company. And you know, so many companies spend tens of thousands of dollars on PR campaigns, but I think you would actually be shocked at how much you can accomplish with a few good tools that do not cost a penny, just a little bit of your time and effort. So I'm going to be sharing those 11 great resources. You're going to be able to find out stories that hundreds of journalists across the country are working on every day so you can be a great resource for them. I'm going to teach you an easy way to create videos for your website that's also terrific for your search engine optimization. I'm going to teach you how to keep tabs on what's happening with your company online as well as your competitors and even how to save enormous time and energy with your social media efforts. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. If you would like to register for this seminar that's coming up next Wednesday, the 17th, you can do that at webstrategycamp.com. That's webstrategycamp.com. And I hope to see you there next Wednesday. All right, so let's jump right into round one of today's show, Public Relations Trends. My guest is Aaron Heinrich, who's the Managing Director of Shift Communications San Francisco office. And Aaron has over 25 years of communications experience, both developing and managing internal and external PR programs for companies across a broad array of industries, including consumer electronics, retail, digital entertainment, software, and the internet. Aaron, welcome to Punch Media and Marketing Made Easy. Thank you, Erica. I'm glad to be here. Happy to have you on the show. So, Erin, you know, I know our listeners are really curious about public relations trends. So why don't we start with where the public relations industry has come from and what's changed since you and I started our careers in the industry? Yeah, you know, when you said 25 years, it made me feel pretty ancient at this point. (laughs) I guess it's all relative, right? Absolutely. You know, I think that it would be no surprise for anybody to say, if I said that social media certainly made probably the biggest impact in terms of how we do public relations today, just because it's provided so many more different channels in which we can operate and communicate. And it's also obviously created this one-to-one conversation, which when we first started our career, we didn't really have to think of because it was more about mass media. Absolutely. 
Yeah, you know, I remember when I started in the public relations industry that the press release was king, and that's how you really got information out about your company and got it to the media for them to do editorial media coverage of you. And the distribution of a press release was done either via fax or via snail mail. No, that's absolutely right. Now that you've got various channels like Facebook and Twitter and people I know are using Pinterest and Instagram, it's created this, you know, instantaneous communication that we didn't have to think about so much before. So I think that what's what's occurred is that PR people have to have the ability to react pretty instantaneously to c- different conversations that are going on about the companies and the different clients that we serve. I think the other thing, though, that's happened that people don't talk enough about is that as PR professionals, we're actually being forced to communicate more visually. You know, and I I know you had mentioned that with this um, program that you've got um, coming up later with regard to strategies, the visual component of it. You know, PR people are taught to write and communicate um, via written words far more than we're taught to communicate visually. But with the advent and popularity of YouTube and other types of media like that, we're being forced into that visual communication channel in ways that we had never been before. Absolutely. And, you know, I think that is something that is constantly evolving in the world of PR. Uh, You know, certainly when I started my agency, Three Girls Media and Marketing, uh, seven years ago, social media wasn't really a factor. It was just really, you know, Facebook maybe existed, but it was all for the college kids. And we didn't have to really take that into consideration. And now, like you said, it has become so ubiquitous and so necessary for companies to be on social media to create that one-on-one conversation with their customers. And likewise, the world of video has changed things so dramatically. You know, companies really need to start thinking visually and not only including video on their websites, but also doing things like creating regular content for a YouTube channel that's going to be compelling and interesting and engaging for their audience. And it's something that they simply did not have to do before. So I think that people PR companies have had to learn how to do things differently and sort of uh, migrate and learn with the times. And we've had to counsel our clients on how to do that as well. Yeah, I think that um, the counsel with the clients is particularly important. I know that in my career, even as social media has progressed, a lot of companies feel like if they at least have a Facebook page and they have a Twitter handle and they've got a few blogs out there, then they've checked those boxes off and they feel like they're done. And, of course, that's not necessarily the case. These things have to be integrated in some fashion and strategically mapped back to what the communication goals and objectives of the company are. You can't just put up a page and say, okay, we're done. In some ways, this was similar to what happened when the Internet and the web itself first started propagating with web pages that companies never really thought about what those needed to convey. They just put the pages up and put a few few different pieces of information about the company, and that was it. And the ones that were successful did it in a way that strategically mapped back to what the company was trying to convey. Sure. Uh, Do you still find amongst your clients that there are those that are hesitant to participate in social media? Yeah, I think that the hesitation has to do with the fact that there's still an element of distrust Mm -hmm. or lack of control that once you put something out there, you're not going to be able to control the message or how people conceive of it or how people might interpret it. And the thing that I at least personally have told clients, and I know that the companies that I've worked with and certainly at Shift, what we're doing is you're either um, driving the conversation or you can be part of it. So which would you rather do? And you drive that conversation by being able to have yourself out there in these different channels, being able to, as you mentioned earlier, have compelling content. And that's really the critical part is how do you get that compelling content out there? And once you do, then more often than not, you're going to be driving the conversation as opposed to following it. Absolutely. We are talking with Aaron Heinrich, who's the managing director at Shift Communications San Francisco office. And we're talking about public relations trends. And we're going to continue that conversation when we come back from the break. You're listening to Punch, Media and Marketing Made Easy on 1220 AM KDOW, the Wall Street Business Network. I'm your host, Erica Taylor Montgomery, and we'll be right back. <music> 